an HTML document is a text file usually with a .html or a .htm extension. It usually contains HTML which is like a hypertext markup language. It's a simple language that is used to attach meaning to the content that the text has. For example, it could say what are those paragraphs, is there a table, is there a list, what is a header, what is a footer, is this a style, should this be rendered as strong text or an underlying text, etc, etc. HTML is actually an XML, so it would uh, have tags and an HTML tag usually contains an open tag and a closing tag. For example, if you have a paragraph, uh, it would look like this. It will have paragraph is by P and let's say, it, uh, and then it will have some text. Okay, and then it will end with P, slash P. So this is called closing tag. This is called starting tag. And some of the tags could have uh, attributes here, for example, in it it could be style and it could have an value and you know there are predefined values for all kinds of attributes so it could have this is how an HTML tag would look like yeah so now uh, there are some tags which don't have an end tag for example a break tag or an image tag so like a break which gives you a line break will have br slash this slash shortcut will work as both uh, work as a closing tag. For example, you could have had br slash br, but instead of having this, it's like a hash shortcut to close the tag like this, right? So there are some tags which are only one tag, which is both works as both closing tag and opening tag. So since we told an HTML file is just a text file and uh, which is you know generally rendered using a browser i have uh, created a f file called myfirst.html and i have opened the same in a browser here on the right side i have uh, opened in the text editor on the left side and it can be seen here uh, that on the on my file system there is only one file myfirst.html the same thing is opened here and the same thing is open in the browser okay let me just open them side by side now HTML is also very forgiving it can take any content of text and just render it uh, it won't throw an error or it won't crib right so let me add a piece of text to this uh, HTML document and see what happens okay, let's and so I've added a chapter from Pride and Prejudice from the Project Gutenberg. You know, and it's seen at this URL. I've added it here. I'm going to save it. Right? And I'm going to refresh this. You can see the text is displayed here on the right side. I've not done anything extra. It's just text file nothing has been added to it it just gets displayed with default formatting there is no nothing special applied to it as you can see it's all garbled it's all over the place uh, it's not been formatted because for browser to render it properly for example to render pride and prejudice as header and this is one paragraph and stuff like that it has to be told to render but uh, since we are not told what to do with it browser renders it as one lump of text yeah so in the next chapter we'll see how to format this text thank you so much